guys it's your girl C and I'm back with another video today is vlogmas day nine we are moving along it is coming along you are getting content back to back every single day so thank you guys for watching of course and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified every single time we post another video and best to believe they're coming every day so hit that bell button now I am I know that the direction of the video has kind of been like me giving you content about like um favorite Christmas movies and um Christmas wish list and it's been a lot of me just sitting down talking to you guys um, but I'm doing that because I feel like these videos need to get out of the way because these are things that you need to know before Christmas comes and I don't want to wait for December 24th to drop like the Christmas movie list when you probably want to watch a movie every day till Christmas and with this um Today, I'm, I will be giving you Christmas gift ideas for him or her. And I also feel like this is something that you guys need to know at least by today or even sooner than today because it's almost the holidays and shipping is all screwed up and you might not know what to get someone and this may help you. Um, you might need to run out to the stores. You might be just a last minute shopper like me and you just need some ideas to jog your memory and I am here to jog your memory. So, I'm going to get started because I already told y'all what to do. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. And also, if you guys want to see other videos and you don't want these kind of videos, Comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you want so I can give that to you guys. It's all about what you want to see. So, I'm going to get started and I'm going to start with the him list. So, for him, I wrote this down. If you watch my previous, previous videos, you notice the infamous YouTube notebook where I gather all my thoughts. So, <laughs> um... I have a list here for him and I have a list here for her. It is not that long because I myself couldn't think of too many things. Um, this list is in no particular order and it also is, it, it's in like different price ranges. It goes from like cheap things you can get to like maybe expensive things you could get. Whatever suits you, whatever you could afford, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever your style is. I'm just throwing things out there, whatever you gravitate to, so be it. So for him, I have boxers, undergarments, um, it could be, you can make that into like, I feel like boxers and stuff like that, like, I feel like guys buy those things for themselves, but I feel like a lot of men do depend in a sense on their significant other to go out and pick up these things and bring it in. And I think that's, that's why they have an abundance of these things because we're going out and we're like shopping for ourselves. And ending up in their section like oh let me grab let me grab some boxers oh let me grab some tank tops let me grab some socks so if you know like I said it depends on what you have going on this Christmas financially or whatever your situation may be that might be um, all you could do and that's totally fine and it's sweet and it's thoughtful it's the thought that counts so you could do like boxers undergarments meaning socks tank tops and I already said boxers so um, that's one. Number two, depending on your significant other and what he's into. If he's a shoes type of guy, you could do shoes. If he's a sneaker kind of guy, you could do sneakers. Depending on where you live, you could do sandals. Like, you know, depending on what state and what the weather's like, you could gauge it like that. Um, the next thing I would say is a belt. Um, a lot of men don't know they need a belt. They, it's just kind of like keep pulling up, keep pulling up. Like, dude, put a belt on. So, um, you could do like a designer belt if that's something that you're into or not. You could do a simple belt. Maybe that's something that, you know, you heard your significant other say one day when he was putting on a particular pair of jeans and he's like, yo, I wish I had a belt. These are so big. It's like, ding. And that's another thing that you guys need to pay attention to. Like, 
a lot of times, like for us females, we always saying the things we need. Like, damn, I wish I had a new bag, or I wish I had this, or damn, I really need to get a belt. Like, all my pants don't fit at the waist, or whatever the case is, and you never make it to actually do it. These are hints. Men drop these same hints, and I feel like sometimes we need to listen and hear what they say, and they need to listen to us for sure. So don't think I'm over here team them. Because I'm always team us. So I think that sometimes though we need to listen to what they're saying. Especially like when it's around the holidays and we know like it's time to buy gifts and we don't know what to get. Or it's always like what do I get someone who has everything. You know sometimes that's a struggle in itself. So just pay attention because even though you feel like someone. You may feel like someone has everything but they don't there's always something that they need or want for or maybe they simply just don't want to get it for themselves they want you to get it they want you to pick up on the hint so listen to your significant other guys listen to what's being said and you can make a list like that so um like i said it could be a belt designer or not but that's a good gift obviously if it's designer it costs more and if that's all you feel like putting out this christmas that's that one gift and done um, another thing I feel like with men is the perfect gift is a wallet or a card holder. I feel like, do men even like own that? Like, to be honest, I feel like I only see like older, 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 older men. Like people who could be like my father's age. Um, but I feel like younger men, like um, younger people who are in younger relationships people like myself or whatever like I feel like these men don't carry wallets and stuff like they just stuff everything in their pocket like money's in this IDs in that like and then that's why they always lose and stuff because Trey's always misplacing something so um I think that a wallet is good and that also depends on the man also because not everybody likes that bulky wallet because a lot of times they put it in their back pocket not everybody likes that bulge so for someone like that a card holder is um good because they can literally just put their cards there and still keep their money in their pocket men also like to keep things in different places for different reasons um so that's a good one the next one i would say is a shaving kit depending on the man again this is all depending on the man so i'm gonna stop saying that you know your man so whatever you feel fits you know gravitates to you then you know so a shaving kit i think is also a good one because if the individual has like a beard or whatever the case may be or they're just like a bomb ass barber and they just want to have like certain equipment at home so they don't have to go get a cut or sometimes can't get a cut because there's no time to get to that or whatever and they just want to be cleaned up real quick a, a good nice precise clipper set is a good gift also where they could keep their you know their lineup in check keep their face nice and smooth or however their facial hair is I think that's a good gift um cologne is always nice um cologne is always a good gift like I think it's good for both because I feel like obviously men love cologne yeah him and you that's what i meant to say <laughs> so um i feel like it's good because men like to smell good at least i know my man likes to smell good and he really loves he really does love cologne and i feel like i like to smell him smelling good so it's a gift for the both of us in a sense because ain't nobody want no funky ass man so anyway, the next one I would say is money. So I know with men it's very tricky because it's always like how much money could... I think with... Not even with men. I just think mon, giving money as a gift in general is always very tricky because how much money do you give someone without like looking cheap but without breaking the bank? I want to hear from you guys about that. Like what do you think is a good amount of money to gift anyone where you're not overdoing it and killing yourself and it's not too the person not looking like dead ass like a hundred dollars for like a freaking grown ass man like 
who does that so let me know in the comments what's a good amount of money to give someone that's like not offensive and won't make you feel kind of stupid the next one I would say this the definitely depends on the person if electronics if the person is into electronics um if they are in, into electronics obviously a lot of the gifts that have been going around for Christmases now is like ear pod ear pods um you know um what's that other thing Apple watch um yeah that's what comes to mind right now and then it depends on like what y'all all have going on like obviously hi YouTube we do YouTube so maybe getting like a new computer or a new camera um new equipment for the for your videos or what have you so if you are a youtuber or a youtube couple definitely like new lens um microphones ring lights so many things like you can literally google or youtube what does um you know like what kind of equipment do youtubers need like i promise you something will come up that's always a very excellent gift to someone who does YouTube. Like, I think that's probably one of the best gifts because things vary and they cost, like, different prices. Another gift that also falls under the YouTube bracket, if you are a YouTube couple or you are a YouTuber, an individual, aside from, like, equipment and stuff that you could get somebody, another bomb gift, at least I think is bomb, and I think this is going on both for him and for her SD cards like go in a store and pick up like 20 SD cards put them in a box under the tree I bet you if you are like with a youtuber or if you are a youtuber you understand what I'm talking about that is the best gift like you can give to someone like I'm fine if somebody gave me a stack of SD cards like I'm good with that I don't have to buy for a little while perfect perfect gift like those one card be like anywhere from like 30 one card for 30 dollars like you know how much content and it doesn't hold as much as you think so sd card is definitely a good gift last on the for him list is you booking a vacation for your man for it doesn't have to be just because it's christmas the gift doesn't have to be able to be used on Christmas or whatever the case is you could give a like that's a bomb ass gift like we motherfucking tired like let's get a vacation and then guess what it's also a gift that benefits the both of you you gave him a gift that you kind of gave to yourself so like book a vacation for like oh yeah so like it could be uh if your birthday's coming up like for example my birthday's in march if i'm trying to make this a two for one kind of gift i would book the vacation for march it's like a vacation i booked for you for my birthday so everybody wins you know so that's all i have for the for him list now we're on to for her things that men can get their significant other so obviously bags any kind of bags like I said to each its own whatever your preference is that's what you would be obviously making your list based on but it can be a designer bag or it could be a non designer bag but women in my opinion love bags um, another one is shoes or sneakers or boots or sandals depending on where you live and what the need is um footwear we love footwear and we definitely love if the footwear matches the bag so that's so if you do that you won so the next thing i would say is perfume and i already told you guys on the men's list why cologne was important and it's important on the female list as well we we love to smell good or at least i love to smell good i love perfume and i love trying different perfumes i obviously have my few that i stick with that i love but i like to try different scents and i just really love to smell good like i think it's important that a female's hygiene is on point and I'm not saying that perfume is part like is hygiene but it definitely is a part of adding to your already hygienic routine 
So perfume is a good one and I think it's also good for the guy because when he's all up on you, at least he could smell, especially if he bought it, you know, he could smell it constantly. So that's a good one. Another one is jewelry and I forgot to add that to the men's side too. You can also get your significant other male um, jewelry. That's a good gift also and for females that's also good. It could be like nice little diamond studs, a nice necklace bracelet I, i'm obsessed with ankle bracelets like that's my thing so if you get me an ankle bracelet which troy actually got me an ankle bracelet one year for mother's day and unfortunately it popped off my ankle in an uber and that's all she wrote so that's sad but anyway that's a good gift. Um, jewelry is definitely a good gift. The next one I have is like a gift certificate or or something like that for a spa. If you're a mom, that's like key. Like why wouldn't I want to have this sitting there for me? Maybe like one that's good for a year or for a long period of time. Not something that has to be used right away. I think you shouldn't get one that has to be used right away because women, we are all over the place with our schedules. We have a lot going on. So I think if you get a gift certificate for a spa that has a little bit of a lengthier like use date, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, that's a, that's a good gift because like for myself, I'm a mom, I work, like I have a lot going on. So if I know I have that day, I could say like, okay, on this day I have this, I'm going to go and get that. I'm going to go use that. I'm going to go to the spa, get my massage and all of that. Um, you Men, you could also add like into that, you can make it like something for two. So you could do like a couple's massage where you get that QT time. Whatever you feel like your woman deserves. If you feel like she needs alone time, like even without you then book something for her that doesn't involve you, the kids, or anyone, not even her friends, like just for her. Or you could do that, book something for her and she could choose a friend or two. That's really cute. Girls love girls time. Or something for you guys, if you guys feel, if you feel like you haven't been spending enough quality time or whatever the case is, you might want to incorporate yourself into that. Whatever you choose. Money, obviously is a good gift but like i said before on the men's side it's very tricky with money because you don't know what's good enough or what's going to kill your pocket well you know what's going to kill your pockets but sometimes what's going to kill your pockets is the right amount so kind of got a gauge there same thing for female same thing for females from the male side electronics there are females who are heavily into electronics like maybe like a new phone new airpods um a new ipad new computer new camera new just like equipment electronics like all those things fall on both of the list um i also have the same thing well i said it already new camera I have that same SD thing and I'm only speaking from like I guess my experience as a YouTuber like how important that is so I put that on both sides and I don't know I think that if you're older female like when I say older I mean like 30 and the 30 and up crew I think like kitchen appliances like get me an air fryer if I don't have one Get me a deep fryer if I don't have one. Like the things that excite you after a certain age are things like house stuff, which is crazy because you used to go crazy over like a bag or whatever. And now you just like, damn, I want that air fryer. It went on sale. Like, all right. Um, the other thing that females love, I don't know if it's good for Christmas, but I think it's just, I don't know house decor like house decor like maybe switching up your um switching up the atmosphere like getting out with the old and in with the new like i think every season you should be changing up like curtains and pillow covers and so maybe like a little shopping spree like tell your girl that hey i'm gonna take you to wherever the hell you shop if it's online on wayfair or um going to target or walmart or wherever you shop for your like house things 
home goods him saying to you like hey i'm gonna let you you know revamp and spruce up the house like no limit okay i'm going crazy in that store like i'm literally changing like i'm throwing out the whole damn i'm throwing out furniture not just curtains don't give me a no limit shopping spree for the house so that's a good one and then last but not least the same thing that i just said a booked vacation a guy can also book a vacation for him and his lady it doesn't have to be for christmas it could be for whenever is suitable for your schedules but it would be nice that it's booked like you don't have to do that because us females always have to like take charge and be the one to be acting acting like you a secretary booking a trip like y'all very capable of doing the same so it would be nice for like a nice book trip to somewhere you've never been or somewhere you guys probably discussed going but just never actually gotten around to it or it's just maybe just much needed like you just need to go on vacation so booking a vacation for in December for you know the spring or for the summer or even for January and February if you live where it's cold book a vacation and fly me somewhere hot you know so that's all I have for you guys I hope that was helpful if you haven't done your Christmas shopping and you are having like some type of blockage up there on what to get, I hope this was a helpful list to you on either side. Um, good luck with your Christmas shopping and thank you guys as always for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.